Hello and welcome to my channel, where I recap and review the latest episodes of your favorite TV shows. Today, I'm going to talk about Billions Season 7 Episode 7, titled DMV, which aired on Paramount Plus with Showtime on Friday, September 22, 2023. This episode was a game-changer for the show, as it marked the downfall of Mike Prince and the rise of Chuck Rhodes. Let's get into it. The episode begins with Prince hosting a black tie gambling event at his mansion, where he invites his employees, his political allies, and his protege Philip Charon. Prince is confident that he has secured enough support to launch his gubernatorial campaign, and he encourages his team to take big risks and make big moves. He also reveals that he has hired Dr. Ruloff, a brilliant scientist who has developed a revolutionary technology that can generate clean energy from water. Prince believes that this technology will be his trump card in the political arena, as well as in his rivalry with Bobby Axelrod. However, things start to go wrong for Prince when he tries to woo Wendy Rhodes, who is attending the event as Kate Sacker's plus one. Wendy is not impressed by Prince's charm or his vision, and she rejects his advances. She also warns him that Chuck is not someone to be underestimated, and that he might have something up his sleeve. Meanwhile, Chuck is busy dealing with a family crisis, as his father Charles Rhodes Sr. has been arrested for trying to bribe a DMV employee after his grandson Kevin failed his driving test. Chuck manages to get the case referred to the district attorney's office, where he hopes to use his influence to get his father off the hook. However, he soon realizes that the DMV employee is Jimmy Barrett, a former comedian who was once humiliated by Sr. on live TV. Jimmy holds a grudge against Sr. and wants to see him suffer. Chuck tries to negotiate with Jimmy, but Jimmy refuses to drop the charges unless Senior apologizes to him on camera. Chuck knows that Senior will never do that, so he comes up with another plan. He enlists the help of Axe's lawyer Orrin Back, who has connections with Jimmy's agent. Back convinces Jimmy's agent to offer him a lucrative deal for a Netflix special, on the condition that he drops the charges against Senior. Jimmy agrees, but only if Senior agrees to attend his show as a VIP guest. Chuck then convinces Senior to go along with the plan by lying to him that Jimmy wants to make amends with him and honor him at his show. Senior agrees, but only if Chuck accompanies him. Chuck reluctantly agrees, knowing that he will have to endure Jimmy's insults and jokes at his expense. The next day, Chuck and Senior attend Jimmy's show where they are seated in the front row. Jimmy proceeds to roast them mercilessly, making fun of their appearance, their scandals, their failures, and their relationship. Chuck tries to keep his cool but Senior loses his temper and storms out of the theater. Chuck follows him outside, where they have a heated argument. Senior accuses Chuck of setting him up and betraying him. Chuck admits that he lied to him, but says that he did it for his own good. He also tells him that he is ashamed of him and that he doesn't want to be like him. Senior is hurt by Chuck's words, but he also realizes that Chuck has grown into a formidable man who can stand up to him. He tells him that he is proud of him and that he loves him. He also tells him that he has something for him, a file containing dirt on Mike Prince. Senior reveals that he has been investigating Prince for a while and that he has found out some shocking secrets about him. He says that Prince is not the saint that he pretends to be, but a ruthless manipulator who has done some terrible things in his past. He also says that Prince's energy technology is not as clean or as revolutionary as he claims it to be. Senior gives Chuck the file and tells him to use it against Prince. He says that this is his way of apologizing and making up for his mistakes. He also says that this is his legacy for Chuck, to take down Prince and become the governor of New York. Chuck takes the file and thanks Senior for it. He then hugs him and tells him that he loves him too. The episode ends with Chuck opening the file and looking at its contents with a smirk on his face. So, what did you think of this episode? Did you enjoy seeing Prince fall from grace and Chuck rise from the ashes? What do you think Chuck will do with the file? And what will happen to Axe now that Prince is out of the picture? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more recaps and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.